Hey everybody, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. I'm Zelda Master 2010, and here we are in Snow Peak Ruins. We're going to be continuing it in this episode. In the previous episode, we went inside this room um, from the outside, and now we're in the, on the inside. And you're going to find um, this statue over here, and I don't know why I picked up a bomb, but yeah, go ahead and take out your hook shot, your claw shot, not hook shot, but yeah, you can have it out, and um, yeah, so there's that. Just a statue and let's go ahead and head to the opposite side of the door because that's where lies the key that you know Yada told us in the previous episode if you look on the map you'll see it on the red circle but believe it or not that other statue we were looking at and actually hit is is you know something that's real yeah believe it or not this is the mini boss for snow peak ruins and you know he's pretty fierce and he wants to fight with his ball and chain and believe it or not he's actually really easy to And there we go, we took him on, it took me long enough, uh, I don't know why, but basically all you want to do is avoid the ball, and, um, hook to the other side when he comes near you, and then he'll throw it automatically once you hook to the opposite side, you just want to avoid when he, he throws it at you, and run behind him and hit him in his tail, and that's kind of it, and he actually drops his weapon, first actually enemy that drops his weapon after you kill him, instead of, you know, exploding with it but there you go that's the ball and chain everybody believe it or not yeah you don't get it in a fancy chest this is the item of the dungeon you know after you defeat the mini boss you get it and this is it so now we have it you go ahead and spin it like him and throw it like him so I guess Link already learned how to use his moves from him and everything let's go ahead and head inside here and you know see where the key lies you know the special key and obviously you're gonna find ice covering it but you can easily destroy it like that and that kind of lets you know that oh hey you know you can now destroy the you know the ice that's blocking everything it's gonna make this temple make a lot more sense and make it just so much more easier so anyways we got Ordon goat cheese yeah more Ordon stuff and just that's it's not really gonna work because that's not the key that we wanted but whatever you know ignore that let's go ahead and head back and head back to the kitchen and let him know that once again we've been fooled and we, we got the wrong thing because that's all we've been doing throughout this you know whole temple so um, which we only did it twice but you know I'm pretending that, that it's been a lot longer so anyways you can destroy this right over here let's ignore these wolves and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and jump through this window because I don't even want to use a door I'm too cool to use a door and believe it or not this will be actually like a shortcut you should destroy this and make your way back inside and that's kind of how you do it like that uh, make your way back inside indoors and let's go ahead and destroy this let's, let's actually open up the door that lies over here but we can't really do anything to it yet but uh, let's just open it up let's just complete the puzzle while we can so basically what you want to do for this is take the one that lies over here push it all the way down like that and then push this one up here and you're just gonna rinse and repeat and shift between the blocks this is actually a really easy puzzle uh, it shouldn't be hard whatsoever I think the first time I saw it was kind of you know in your face obvious that you should want to keep doing this and um, that's it uh, at first this looks like oh wow you know how the hell am I supposed to get the the block in the middle when there's not enough blocks or there's not enough space or what I'm gonna block it with etc you know the thing is you usually ask yourself, but I, no one really did because it doesn't even look hard, but I'm pretending you did. And I'm actually going to drink a lot of that soup because how much hearts I lost from that mini boss. But yeah, there you go. So that opens up a door we can't even head inside. And what you want to do over here is just push this back in the middle because we still want to have access to the door we just came in from. You know, just, just in case. And there's really no point not to... To push it back in because you're kind of done with this puzzle and you'll never be pushing blocks again and they will stay like this for good so let's just keep it the way it should be and have all the switches pressed and there we go now let's make our way into the kitchen and actually grab an empty bottle to drink up and actually give him the Ordon goat cheese so we can we can have more improved soup and it will be tastier 
and replenish more hearts. So let's go ahead and talk to him. See how much it does. So now what does he need? He needs, you know, a punch. Ah, good smell. You have it. He, he doesn't even, he doesn't even pop in mind. Mmm, perfect ingredient. I don't think he knows what it is. He just drops it in. But yeah, let's go ahead and taste his, his soup and see how it does. All right. So you scoop it up and it actually looks different every time. That has this cheesy look to it. And it's superb soup. It's cheesy and delicious. And it replenishes eight hearts. So I guess we'll drink this twice to fill up. Or no, we're fine. I, I, I'll just take another scoop with me just in case I encounter a really dumb problem like what happened in the beginning of this episode. Because that's how I am. But anyways, we must complain about something because, yeah, remember how... We wanted the key to their bedroom. Well, we we can't find it. So, once again, yeah, that is embarrassing. You keep showing us the wrong place. So now it's on the completely other side of the map, but she does open up a door, and that will make it easier to head there. Well, basically the only way to head there for now. But we'll find other ways that we could have accessed it, but just from the opposite side. So, right ahead, you'll find a stairway. Well, not really a stairway, just a way that goes up. And a door over here. Let's go and open up, open up the door over here and see what this is. And believe it or not, yeah, here's a shortcut. So now we can go ahead and walk from there to here. And what you want to do is actually grab one of these uh, boulders and put it on the opposite side to drop it indoors so we can use it. And as you can see, there's one of these machines because you can't open the door and head inside with the boulder. So you have to find one of these like machine things to to bring them in and out of where you're in and out of so hopefully that made sense <laughs> but yeah go ahead and pull this down and we're gonna keep it there for a second as I as I destroy this ice and basically make my way up here because this is gonna be annoying yeah this ice monster if it if you touch the ice it's shooting out of its mouth, it you'll automatically be frozen. So you want to quickly hit him three times, I think, or only twice, and he becomes smaller ice things, and you can easily avoid that by not touching it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wait over here. Once he turns to the opposite side, which he should, yeah, right now. I'm, oh shoot, I actually ran into that. I think he freezes you for a long enough time to where you kind of screwed. You, yeah, you have to wait for the second cycle. But, um, yeah, once you hit him once, you can quickly hit him again to, to avoid that. But, yeah, so there we go. Let's go ahead and put, break these, I mean, not push it. And you'll find a cannon that we can, we can use, but we don't necessarily know what to do with it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do something first before I head back down and grab that, um, block. Go ahead and you'll find this, the floor. You can either bomb it or break it with this. And, yeah, there we go. Now we just broke... Their floor, and believe it or not, this is actually one of the first rooms we went inside when we were inside Snow Peak Temple in the previous episode. Yeah, it has that endless pit, and this actually leads to the entrance of the the temple. So there was a heart piece that lied in here, and this is actually the first heart piece. There's one more left, you know, to get all the heart pieces in the temple because there are two in each temple. And yeah, so before I do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and make my way all the way back down and drop the this this boulder in the in the cannon so we can have it set and ready now you don't have to do that this is not mandatory right now but you do basically want to do it as soon as possible because it will make everything a lot easier and just a lot more fun you could say not really um, it will just speed up the pace if you do it as soon as possible not really I mean no matter what it's gonna take the same amount of time but like I want to have everything ready you could just say so if we can actually <laughs> drop it in the cannon and there we go, insert it, and let's point it to the direction where we want it to be, and we want it right there. Now, as you can see, there's blocks covering there. What the hell are we supposed to do there? Well, I don't know. We're going to figure it out. So, here's the, you know, locked door. Now, what are you supposed to do? Well, there's a door over here that I didn't notice, or you might have not noticed, but I didn't notice, but I didn't want to talk about it yet. Now, I will. So, anyways, this room, you want to first destroy this, because this is going to make heading back a lot easier. <coughs> And there's also an enemy back there. I forgot to mention. Let's go ahead and destroy him. You can destroy him with one hit with this, but he'll keep throwing ice shards at you, so you want to do it as soon as possible. So as you can see, we can claw onto that. Because what you want to do is you'll find this chandelier-like thing. It looks like, you know, like a swing. 
like a giant platform swing, jump on it, and wait for it to take you to this side, and that's it. That's all you want to do. Now, you can head back doing the same thing, but you might fall, and you don't want that to happen. Uh, well, it could happen, but I mean, does it really matter now? I, I think if you actually look down, there's another room. Yeah, we've actually been to this room, but most likely you're going to fall into endless pit. It suck if you actually fell on there and you're gonna have to walk your way all the way back here so anyways when you're right here you can go ahead and hook yourself on instead of doing what we just did so yeah that's the benefit of destroying that and yeah now we got the key so let's go ahead and inside the other room that I mentioned before this room so we continue throughout the temple so I guess everything does become really straightforward once you have the ball and chain because you can kind of demolish anything in your way and oh look at that as I say that there's this so believe it or not this is actually yeah the entrance room to the temple and now that we destroyed this we can hook up here and sort of walk throughout the whole temple and stuff so yeah that's where the floor was the postal was over here you know good times but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and jump here we're gonna want to use these chandeliers we never noticed this because it, I guess it just never came up let's go ahead and destroy him because he's gonna get annoying and um, yeah believe it or not up here with these chandeliers and things we're gonna want to use them to kind of take us to to the other side of of this room and if you fall yes you actually fall and have to make your way back up here and things but since we have that claw shot thing back there we're fine so anyways go ahead and let's push this I think while you're going back so you can actually grab onto it yeah there we go and while it goes up for the first time you want to quickly roll and grab this and that's how you do it and now we got a second piece of heart so I guess both pieces of hearts are really close to each other as well and now you can just drop yourself down and head straight to the kitchen if you want to. But I'm going to continue throughout this area and let's claw our way back up here. Really that easy just in case you did fall and you'd have trouble with getting that piece of heart. Because believe it or not, I did have trouble before. But I mean, it just becomes when you know when to use, you know, the, the gigantic ball and chain to push the chandelier it will be really easy so yeah anyways open up this door and it'll take you to an icy room this is still indoors but just extremely icy and let's destroy these enemies over here just hitting them once with the ball and chain will destroy them and actually when it comes back to you it also hurts them so that's actually really neat I'm not even gonna aim yeah it does tell you to aim to connect it at the screen but it's wherever you're facing is where it shoots so why should I try as you can see my yeah, my cursor was up here. So anyways, I'm going to head in here, or break up this, and I think there's actually the second postal, yeah. Because there's two postals in this temple, so let's go ahead and grab this one. And not get hit by it, because it actually does annoy me how you get knocked out of your senses. It feels like a really critical blow, and yeah, I don't like getting hurt, even though I'm not really getting hurt. So there's a key that you have to unlock over here. Let's go ahead and head inside this room. <clears throat> To find the, you know, said key, because obviously, where else would it be, you know, the key, and that rhyme. So, hey, what's this room? This looks familiar. Yeah, guys, this this is actually the, the puzzle block room, where we were doing puzzles and things, and... Yeah, see how, see how everything connects to each other, but you just don't notice it at first. So, yeah, this is like a small... I mean, this is, isn't as big as it looks, but, you know, there's a lot of areas where it connects and things. So, anyways, over here, this is kind of like where you're like, oh, I remember this area. Yeah, this is, you know, where the floor was and things, and hopefully I'm making sense. Yeah, this is where the wolves were and, you know, where we got the ball and chain in that room and things, and I'll stop sharing my good memories. But, yeah, as you can see, right now we're, like, on the second floor of it, and there's only one third floor, and it's up there where her room is, their bedroom. So, anyways, make your way over here. You don't want to get hit by that because you actually get blown away. And since there's two of them and they're resetting their attack timer, this is going to be really annoying. But luckily I was able to take out one of them quickly. Let's go ahead and destroy this one. He's not going to let me, I think, because I'm in range of him hitting me with melee attacks. But they do push you, f you know, pretty far back, so let's, let's quickly kill them before they become super annoying. But there we go. Now we took him out. Let's go ahead and use our hook shot. Took onto that. Now it does look like it's really far away, but believe it or not, it's just really small and you just want to hook onto it 
and let's make our way over here to to the next area in this temple dungeon thing so here's another one of the frozen walls you know what this means yeah if you want to hook back you can but you're not really going to be using this you're just it's just a just in case area if you do want to hook back which i guess we will be using it but not right now um anyways what you want to do is yeah as you can see the floor down there that's where we got the ordon pumpkin um that's the room as you can see this is just the second floor of it so the way the reason why this mansion is so big is because it's two floors and you actually do like you know go on them and things so here's a small key to open up that door that was way back there but let's go ahead and inside this room as well and see what this is and believe it or not oh look we're back in this area and we can actually use it as a shortcut to head down here <clears throat> and avoid going back so yeah, this also leads back into this room, and now that we push the block over there, we can easily walk our way around like this, and head back to the room where we first were in, <clears throat> and, you know, open up the door with the key and things, so, uh, yeah, no, wait, oops, wrong room, this is actually taking me up, this is a perfect circle if I do that, uh, which, the room you want to head inside is this one so that you could say this is a shortcut instead of walking all the way back you know on top but whatever so go ahead and take a sharp turn over here and let's go ahead and unlock the door so it's a good thing we went through that way so we can just make things you know move a lot faster and things so anyways over here you're gonna find two gigantic icicle beam things let's go ahead and destroy this one first want to hit him at least once before he starts firing it because now we're gonna get frozen twice and he's gonna yeah he's gonna reset his freezing thing but luckily we were able to to avoid it so anyways push these down yeah, you can push him with with the block believe it or not and now we need that boulder that we were speaking of before and hey look we already have it inside this cannon that I did before let's go ahead and drop it in by putting a bomb and I'll put I'll put a water bomb because I have more of those but yeah you want to go ahead and shoot it up here because you can't you know pick it up and take it with you all the way there and you want to make sure you actually have this cannon because it will be really important uh, so I think I actually killed, yeah, I think I actually killed one of those. Or no, I think I killed one without noticing. But, nope, they're actually, they're both up. Okay, never mind. Just push these back. Pick up the ball and chain and destroy them from far away. Oh, I actually, well, this has amazing range. But he also has crazy range with his ice breath of doom. So let's quickly kill him while we have a chance. Before he shoots it, oh, okay, we killed him while he shot it. I don't, that works with me, you know, it's, it's fine, I don't really care. At least he's dead, so. Yeah, let's go ahead and destroy these, so they don't annoy us, because they are really annoying. But once you destroy them, they won't respawn. They're not like the other rooms where the small icicles respawn. But yeah, so go ahead and drop this over here, and believe it or not, this will take you outside to another area on the second floor, uh, which is rather cool. And yeah, there's a cannon over here. And we're gonna use it to shoot things and stuff and um, let's go ahead and see where, where we're gonna shoot this this boulder at where we're gonna shoot it it's, I really like this this idea and it's pretty obvious as you can see it's tilted like it's not the way it should be um, and you I guess you kind of figure out where you want to shoot it it's remember that stairway that I said if we do head up we're gonna be frozen by one of those ice monsters well he's right there and believe it or not this is a perfect shot to kill him so let's go ahead and drop a water bomb and do said thing so yeah he's standing there not knowing what's going on you're just going to shoot him and well that does that and there's actually one more room and if you go ahead and look around yeah there's a that's basically the the walkway to head over to the room so you can go ahead and jump straight down and head straight in this room and use that you know stairway that I avoided because I didn't want to get frozen because I knew what lied ahead which was that monster that we just destroyed so with that all said and done and things and stuff and way to be why the hell is he standing right in front of you that's seriously let's just go ahead and destroy actually I'm just gonna avoid him and head straight in this door because Let's go ahead and finally pick up the key to their bedroom, and once you go in, the door will shut, you'll see the key, and 
This one looks more promising because it looks a lot nicer and this looks actually like a church or something. Uh, you know, it has a lot of, you know, stuff. But, yeah, so there's something you want to know. Now, uh, basically, I'm actually going to use bomb arrows. I, th I think those also work. You can use your ball and chain or bomb arrows. And the reason why you're locked in here is because there's enemies you're going to fight. And, ah, oh, man, those actually spawn them. I don't want to do that. Well, I guess I could do it so I can have distance away. Then I can shoot them and kill them, but then I'm using two bomb arrows to kill one of them. Or you could use your ball and chain. But yeah, so these icicles that are on on the ceiling, they're going to fall and automatically spawn into to one of those things. So you can actually destroy all these chairs, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try to destroy these on the ceiling. I don't know how close you have to be, but yeah, there we go. But if you come close to them, they automatically fall down, so you want to keep your distance um, away because... Or if you hit him down, so I think... Oh crap, no, he spawned, and all of them did now because I did that. Because the whole room shaked, and now they're ready to fight. So, yeah, these are really annoying enemies, but they're really easy to kill. They're, they have perfect aim, as you can see. But, okay, so I guess we did spawn all of them. Great. This is this is exactly where I'm, you know, I'm just going to use bomb arrows because they're a lot faster. Okay, never mind. I, I thought I took it out, but that just made it so much easier. Let's just go ahead and kill them. I hate these ice guardians. But once you destroy them, the door out there will open so you can head out. And the door that keeps the key, which hopefully is another ingredient for a soup. But it's a superb soup, so this must be, the, yeah, the key. So it is the bedroom key. Uh, it's basically the boss key, the big key, whatever you want to call it. The key that will take you to the boss room, which is their bedroom. Makes you wonder, why would their bedroom be the boss room? So let's actually figure out now and head inside this door to see what lies ahead. Hopefully those ice things are alive. No, they're not. I guess she ate them. Um, so yeah, we're safe. I drank husband soup. She feels much better, so she'll come and give us the the thing that lies in her bedroom. So as you can see, she wobbles really slow, and if you do wait, it'll take you about an hour. So you don't want to wait. Um, what you want to do is just go ahead and make your way up there, and she'll automatically, you know, once you open up the door with the key, she'll automatically, you know, appear up there. Guess when you're not looking, she runs really fast. But there you go. So now she's here, and she'll tell you to go inside and things. I don't know why they show you her walking really slow from there when she really didn't, but yeah, thank you, come inside. So, let's see what's inside, and let's get the mirror, um, which will be happening next time. So let's do this.